is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. I've got a live look for you in Colorado Springs. We've got cloudy skies. That ceiling is thickening and lowering as we speak. We've got a few showers across parts of the city. That's live from Pueblo. Mostly cloudy skies, but it's dry in the Steel City right now. That's what it looks like on top of America's mountain. Look at that wind. Southwest at 25 creates a feel like a wind chill of six degrees below zero. All right, your big weather story. Here's what happens around here tomorrow. This is your next weather maker. Going to see more of a downslope flow around here. So instead of March madness tomorrow, you get March mildness. Key weather word for you tomorrow is sunny. And how about another one I think you'll like? Warm afternoon highs tomorrow in the 50s and 60s across most parts of the News 5 viewing area. Getting a few rain and snow showers out there right now. Nothing too serious anywhere. Again, a few light showers across parts of the springs. Head up into the higher elevations. It's mainly light snow, snowing in Cripple Creek right now. Mainly dry across the Steel City. Head south of town, Stem Beach down to Burt Mill Road. A little bit of light rain. And for the wet mountains and wet mountain valley, getting a few snowflakes right now. That stuff pushing off the mountains toward the I-25 corridor right now, pushing west to east at about 15 miles per hour. Here's what's going to happen over the night to, uh, for the rest of the night tonight. A few light rain showers for the next few hours. Maybe mixing in with snow across parts of the Pikes Peak region. That stuff clears out with that disturbance. By 8.30, we're dry along the I-25 corridor by our newscast tonight at 10, starting to see clearing skies around here. I think some parts of Pueblo County out to the uh, Kansas border could see some fog early tomorrow morning. We should stay mostly sunny here across the Pikes Peak region. Blue sky sunshine along I-25 by 9 to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, and what an afternoon you will enjoy. Lots of sunshine, the wind really not a problem tomorrow. Already tracking a new storm system. Wanted to give you the first alert on those and by Thursday, seeing light rain shower activity across parts of El Paso County. Much colder air coming in with a strong cold front by Friday. Look at this snow across parts of El Paso County back into Teller County. I think it'll be warm enough for rain across parts of southeastern Colorado. That could actually continue into Saturday as well. Just wanted to give you the first alert. We could see big changes around here by Friday into Saturday. Outside right now, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. There's a only in Colorado map for you. Overnight lows tonight with those clearing skies on the cold side, mainly 20s. Everybody dropping below freezing tonight. Black Forest, you'll be one of the colder spots with that overnight low of 23 degrees. Blue sky sunshine, no wind to speak of tomorrow. It will be nice afternoon high temperatures, actually a few degrees warmer than what we should have this time of the year. I love saying that in March in Colorado Springs. If you like it warm, I've got you covered. How about Wednesday? Breezy and 74 degrees with blue sky and sunshine. Wind kicks up by Thursday. We could actually see increasing fire danger around here by Thursday with that dry wind. And there's that storm system Friday into Saturday. Rain, snow and much colder air on the way. And for Pueblo, afternoon highs really nice over the next several days. How about Wednesday? That'll be the warmest day you've had since last October. Soak that up while you can because big changes. Friday, Saturday highs drop back into the 40s with showers in your forecast. In Canyon City, afternoon high temperatures really comfortable all the way through Thursday. Much colder air Friday and Saturday. Moisture in your forecast. And for Woodland Park, don't put that snow gear away just yet. It's going to feel like springtime the next several days. But Friday into Saturday, snow on the way and look at Saturday, a high temperature only at the freezing mark. And guys, that forecast epitomizes March in the state of Colorado. You get it all in about four <laughs> or five days. I'm so going to enjoy the next few. I was going to say, I'm just going to put the yard work off then two weeks from now. There you then. go. That's the way to Skip handle it right weekend. there. Spoken like a veteran right there. Or you there. could do it all before right. work on, you know, Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh yeah, there's that.